Hello, um, welcome on Restricted View Horror Film Festival 2020. I've got two special guests with me. Uh, I'm going to let them introduce themselves because I hate saying names and getting them completely wrong. So, guys, how are you doing? <laughs> uh, so, hi, my name is Katrina Gray and I am the writer, director, producer <laughs> and main actress uh, of uh, feature film Daytime Nightmare. Hi, I'm Randy Kelsey. Um, I'm a producer and uh, I did full sound post and the original score for the movie. And he's an actor in Daytime Nightmare as well. Yeah, I have an acting role as well. <laughs> yes. Familiar, <laughs> Randy. Okay. Yeah, simple name. But when I say them, it would have been very complicated. It would have got really, really wrong. <laughs> Tell us a bit about the film, guys. Uh, so basically, uh, it's a psychological thriller, drama, horror, um, and it's about Lucy. Uh, so if Lucy's life changes when her own mind turns against her and her nightmares become her daymares. So it's really, um, you know, very psychological, thrillery, and we explore the world of nightmares and schizophrenia and how it affects your life and the people around you and uh, very deep. <laughs> well, and it's based on my real nightmares. <laughs> you just answered my next question. Thank you for ruining my next oh. question, Katrina. You ruined it. Sorry. <laughs> Shame on you. Um, I was going to say, where, where did the idea of this come from? Because it, it, it feels like a very personal film. I mean, it you, is. you feel like there's a real, you know, there's something that runs a lot deeper there. It's not just some story you've plucked out of your head. It feels yeah. like something really, really deep there. So it came from your own life or? Yes, it's literally my biography, I would say. Like how you call biography? Uh, yeah. yeah. So it's basically autobiography, um, autobiography yeah. So basically everything, um, it's also almost like a journey into my mind. And I wanted to, I wanted to make my first movie very personal, you know, uh, because especially when you make your first movies, like you need to do something that you can relate to, right? Not just write a story. You don't know people if they will like it or not. So I was like, I'm just gonna risk it and make it very, very personal. And then, so basically when you watch a movie, you'll learn everything about me. So this is me. It cannot be more personal than this movie. And I try to be, um, very uh very specific and detailed about my nightmares mm -hmm. because i have like nightmares every night so i would like would be a very good idea to make a movie about the nightmare disorder and schizophrenia and then go very deep and then so i and i was like i could choose any nightmare but then i was like i think i should just go for my real nightmares that i had and try to make them into actual scenes and then put the story together as well in the same time so everything is so authentic, like as it came from my mind. So, yeah. Right, <laughs> um, right the next question for Randy then. Scary. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is kind of. It's like wow. Yeah, I'm. I'm lucky enough that I um, I don't drink much when I sleep, so I don't, you know, um, like have as many nightmares. Really. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Thank you, Katrina. <laughs> For giving me peaceful nights. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but it is. It does. It, it feels quite raw, and it's not. It's not that the film's uncomfortable to watch, but it does feel. On, you do feel uncomfortable for the character because you can feel that pain and you can feel that the anguish that she's going through. Yeah. So I mean, I, that's why. That's why I wondered where it came from. And obviously, yeah, you kind of really dragged. It's it real. Through. It's real. <laughs> and it could be. You know. Yeah. yeah. So and uh, yeah. No, go on, sorry. Yeah I, want, yeah, I wanted to make it real. And then so I was hoping also maybe when people watch it, then they will kind of like, oh, well, I, for, exa for example, dreamt about this, or I'm dreamt about that. And I can understand, like, oh, this is some, once I had nightmare like that too. And I was hoping like people will find their own thing in it as well in the same time. No, I, I, think, yeah. I think they will. Um... Yeah. Obviously not Randy because he doesn't dream, but I think people who <laughs> go through that, I think people who go through similar things, I think they will because it it, it it feels like you're watching somebody's life. It feels like you're watching something that mm -hmm. that somebody has gone through because it doesn't feel like it's made up or created. It doesn't feel fabricated. It feels very. It feels raw. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, 
so yeah it's it's well done i mean you know i think you, i think yeah you know, i mean we, you know we've we've all had nightmares i've of course had nightmares before as well so um i can relate to it and understand um you know how people feel when they do have that and um you know and that's why in the music and everything else and the sound effects and everything you know it came out like that um because we've all been through it you know and and it is a disorder for some and and hopefully through watching this film people can uh, understand that you know they're not sort of they're alone, alone. <laughs> no, that's, yeah. uh, I think that's, the, that's the amazing thing about film especially in times like we're going through at the moment I think you know if, yeah. if, if a film or a story can touch upon someone's life and they can connect to that it makes them feel less yeah. alone yeah. Uh, yeah. absolutely and I think going, going over to the music Randy and the sound um, yeah. how much influence did Katrina have in that or did she let you just run wild with it um, yeah, so um, Katrina did have some influence for sure. Um, you know, it was important to get her ideas and, and her feelings and, and, you know, make sure that she was happy with what's going on and she, she was a part of it. So, yeah, she did have a, a big part in the, in the sound for sure. Um, and then I was there just, you know, um, doing, the <laughs> doing the work. But, um, yeah, I think it was a, it was a nice co collaboration. Well, what I really like is that... In this movie, we have everything original, so not many movies can do that. Say that like it's it's it can cannot be more original than this. You know, mm -hmm. the sound design. Randy composed all the original music, the theme music, and then the end song, end credit song. Everything is original, made just for this movie. And yeah. every little sound, everything, everything is made by Randy. So he spent on it four and a half months only on the sound, yeah. every single day. He, Every day. That, is that all he did? I mean, seriously. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I actually had a role in the movie as well. As well, yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, like, we literally, you know, like, we did everything. So yeah. you, you, it's like team of two kind of... A little, little bit, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we had to have a lot of hats, literally. <laughs> I, I think, yeah. um, though it is important, music is vitally important, and the sound. So... Uh, Knowing how personal the film and the story was to you, Katrina, it, it put an awful lot of trust and an awful lot of pressure on you, Randy, actually. Yes. Um, <laughs> in fact, let's face it, Randy's really the hero of this, isn't he? I mean, you know. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> if, you know, honestly, if, if, we don't, if it was not for the sound, I don't think it would be at 70% as good as it is. How, because the sound you? created the whole feeling that I wanted to portray. Yeah. You know what I mean? It felt amazing yeah. when you heard the sound and the music back. You must have thought, oh, yes. Yes, yes, and I felt like this is it. This is what I felt or oh, wanted people to feel, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah they do say, I mean, they, they do say that sound is 70% of any movie yeah. because, well, you know, it's important. It, it, it makes a huge impact, you yes. know? I think I saw once um, a comparison, just, um, just the footage and no sound and just the sound and no footage. Mm -hmm. And just the sound is so much better than just the footage. Well, I mean, so yeah. it does make a big difference. I think a lot about, about a lot of famous films like Jaws, would that be, would that work without that music? Star Wars yeah. exactly. Music. Yeah. You know, it just Imagine Jaws music. was two notes. <laughs> it, <worked. laughs> it was so powerful. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, and people I mean, remember it until now. Yeah, Halloween, mm. that had that kind of... Mm. Yeah. yeah. Notes in there, but it worked, you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I think no music, music is because it, it should be, able, the music itself should be able to evoke the emotion. And I think you, you, you guys have obviously worked really, really well together. Have you known each other very long? Is this your first collaboration on any, anything? Uh, on the movie, yeah. First time, but six years, yes. Cool. And did you have Randy in there? Actually, we are, we are actually a uh, uh, wife and husband. <laughs> we are together. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That could make you. That could push you apart. You know. That could make you think. Yeah. Yeah. It, it brought us together. Almost did at times. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm it did. It did. <laughs> he's joking. Yeah, I'm joking. I'm joking. Oh, right, right. Right, he's joking. He's yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> him under the can't see. Can't see. <laughs> I, feel, I feel like this has turned into couples counselling now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. <laughs> so, um, just to, when you were writing the film, Katrina, obviously you had your own voice in your head. But did you envision yourself playing the part? I mean, I know you're an actress, but did you think I'm going to play? I wrote it. I wrote it for myself, yeah. literally. I was like, I couldn't imagine 
I wrote it for myself, really. I wanted to do this role very much, yes. Yeah, no, um, it, obviously it's made for you <laughs> because it's you. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, I, I think when, if I'm writing something, because I'm an actor myself, if I'm writing something, I generally write with my voice in my head. But when it gets to the end of it, I'm thinking, no, I don't really know. Mm. <laughs> That. There's too many lines. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But no, it, it was, um, it, it is a, it's a really lovely film. And, well, I'd say a lovely film. It's, a, it's, it's an emotional film, isn't it? Um, I don't think it's a film that you kind of sit there thinking, oh. <laughs> um, oh, so cute. <laughs> 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 you know, it doesn't Disney you, does it? It's, uh, it's, no. it's something <laughs> different. But I do think that's what, what horror is for. I think horror is a fantastic genre for, for addressing emotions like this and addressing experiences like mm. this and telling them in a, yeah. in a really imaginative and clever way, uh, which I think you've done. Um, and hopefully, Thank you. I mean, what's, what's next for you, you guys? I brought already another uh, two horror movies. Actually, one is a horror action called uh, Realm. That's a, a military and uh, exploring afterlife and this and that. It's very heavy. And uh, another movie, it's a, a psychological uh, thriller horror called Hostel Paradise. And Hostel in a Paradise, but it's a very, it's a social experiment. So. Two projects ready. Right, well, you, you don't like yeah. to do the same, do you? You don't like to repeat yourself. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, it's good to have a niche. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I like. I mean, I like when there are like like horror elements in it. I like horror. I like genre, but mm. also it has to have action or thriller in it. So it's like horror, uh, action, thriller, horror, or just thriller horror. Yeah, I mean, horror is so incredibly broad. You can play around with the genre so much. Uh, yeah, this is. And it sounds like that's exactly what you're going to do. You're going to push push the, the scope. You're going to go really, really far uh, as far as you can. Mm. So, um, so they're both written. Yeah. Yes. Just looking for backers. Uh, sorry. You're looking for investment. One of those films. Uh, yes. Yes. For sure. Yes. Now, people, Katrina, go and check her film out at the opening night of the festival, um, and you know. Give the girls support, give them both some support because Randy, Randy's got talent there as well with the music. I think, I think people are really going to dig it. I'm look, in fact, I'm looking forward to seeing what people make of your film. I think, they, I think they're going to get a lot out of it. And I, like we, we've touched on it. Yeah. I think a lot of people who are going through what, what you've gone through, I think they'll really understand it. I think it will really connect with people. I think it's very much a film at the times, Katrina. You've released it at the right time. You're sending it around the festivals at the right time. Yeah. Um, yeah. Glad to hear that. <laughs> because everyone was saying, don't do it, don't do it. And I was like, I just have to follow my intuition. Everyone yeah. was like, don't do it now. Don't do nothing. Wait, wait. But I was like, I just follow my guts. And I think your guts and your yeah. intuition got the film made in the first place. Yeah. And your I emotions got the film made in the first place so just carry on following it i'm really grateful that you put the film into our festival really pleased thank you so much thank you, for thank, having you. Us. thank you so much thank you. because i think it's a it's a perfect example of indie cinema i think you've done a really mm. good job guys so well done thank, thank you. you so much it means a lot to us thank yeah. you um, i look forward to seeing what you come up with next whichever whichever of those thank you so much. Is. i look forward to <laughs> yeah. i look forward to hearing it as well um right okay thank you. so that's the opening night of the Unrestricted View Horror Film Festival 2020. Please give these guys your support. They're fantastic, lovely people, as you can tell. Not quite as lovely as me, but who is? Um, <laughs> so, so that's the opening night. Please join us for the rest of the festival. Um, we've got good prices. You're not just supporting the festival, you're supporting indie cinema, and you're supporting the Hen and Chicks Theatre, which, which is in danger like most little theatres now. So many people are struggling at the moment to, to keep the creative industry afloat. Um, so please, show some love, not just to us, but to each other. Take care. And now, officially, I get the reason P.I. Champagne, everyone, it's launch time. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Olivia Witherspoon is dead. The key to the mystery is in that house. Ivy Hall, unexplained paranormal activity on a grand scale. What's next? Vampires? Zombies? Little green men in flying saucers? 
Stay close. Perfectly safe with me.